Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wahoo Warrior channel. This is uh, the Tactics Talk. This will be episode two. Um, just kind of going through the army building. Obviously, if you're watching these videos, you're familiar with building uh, units and building stuff. Building uh, something to take. But there's newer players out there. If somebody gets referred to us. Uh, you know, we're going through, I'm going to go through these various selectors. I was going to do the anti-tank team. But that's a little bit more in depth. So real quick, we're just going to make a quick one on uh, the machine gun team. So you can take a zero one machine gun team. Uh, different nationalities have different abilities. Like uh, the United States can actually take that zero three if they take the medium machine gun team. Similar to like how the anti tank team, the Russians can take a zero three. So let's talk about medium machine guns. So the medium machine gun team is basically a crew of three, uh, like the German, it's the same gun that's in their squad base, light machine gun, but they, they give it the medium machine gun rule when you basically have extra crewmen and maybe a bit, the tripod and a little bit of ammo. It doesn't matter really how you model it up. Uh, I have some airborne that just have a light machine gun with three guys on a base. It gives you the medium machine gun rule and nobody really cares. Uh, medium machine guns are 50 points at regular. They are, uh, I believe, 65 at veteran. And uh, they do have, many, some nations have inexperienced ones. I, I wouldn't recommend that. But, uh, you know, it's something maybe if you have some extra points in your list you want to throw it in. So why do you want to throw a medium machine gun team into your list at all? Well, for years, uh, I have not really wanted to. I love... The looks of the medium machine gun teams. I love all the movies and documentaries where they have a machine gun and they are uh, blazing away with it. The rules in bolt action for medium machine gun teams have been very lackluster. Uh, version 1, they had one less shot than they do now. The Germans get the buzzsaw rule so they get a little bit more. But you're looking at 50 points for 3 wounds, 36 inch range, uh, now 5 shots. Uh, five shots, six shots for the German because they get a buzzsaw rule. So we'll just talk about the base rules for all the countries. It's five shots. So you could take a five man infantry team for 50 points. That's five wounds, 24 inch range, but a moving fire uh, to make up for that six inches if you needed to. So a lot of people took a five man squad of infantry or something along that lines more than a medium machine gun, which was sad to see because you, you just it's just such an iconic piece of World War II. The rules didn't really support its awesomeness. I'm trying to phase it into my current list. I, I just I have a uh, uh, Burma themed one that I'm uh, actually glued it together last night, and I'm going to be I got it primed. I'm going to start painting it, and so the 36 inch range is kind of nice. You know, the what the bad thing about a mean machine gun team is, is it's a fixed, so you cannot move and fire it. It is infantry based, though. I can run this bad boy 12 inches if I need to redeploy it. Uh, you're not like an artillery priest where you can only go six inches, so you can't move and fire, but you can run like an infantry. So, uh, obviously, mean machine gun teams are going to be more advantageous in a defensive role it doesn't mean you can't move them up in a nice position in a truck or something and for deploy them a little bit from a truck but but in all reality you're going to start your deployment zone 12 inches area and you want to get them in a nice spot where you can kind of cover a nice field of fire and you're basically going to try to deny an enemy uh, somewhere on the battlefield that you don't want them to be they maybe spray a few pins down range from time to time. They're not going to slaughter a squad. I got a British MMG team here, and say so you got a German infantry squad getting ready to run out into the open. You're not going to slaughter the entire squad like in the movies where these guys come running out on a 12 inch run heading over that way, and you trigger an ambush, or on your turn, you fire at them. In, in, I shouldn't say in real life because I never even shot at with a medium machine gun, but you would imagine that this would not be a position that you'd want to find yourself in 
uh, generally a medium machine gun team aiming at you on the top of a roof and you're running in the open but in bolt action not much uh, is going to happen to you because it's normally a three to hit uh, you have to look at range I believe it's over 18 so it'd be four to hit so on five shots mathematically you're going to be getting two and a half hits so uh, it's just under 18 so you'll be hitting on threes which isn't so bad five shots yeah i got two hits that's a bad roll killing on fours one died so one pin one dead now i don't know how long a bolt action turn is but if it's a, a few seconds you know there's one dead one pin you will reach out and touch some stuff and get those pins on with a medium machine gun team though where an infantry squad uh you know has six inch less range but you know more wounds and can move now what's really when you get to a 12 if you're going to a tournament that's maybe thousand points or 1250 and it's single platoon well now the medium machine gun slot starts to become much more attractive because if you're not using theater selectors you're only going to have five uh five infantry squads that you can even take and if you're maxed out and you're trying to put more order dice in or you just want another infantry based team that can capture objectives because it is an infantry team and can capture objectives uh you know the mean machine gun team is not a bad option uh i do i'm not going to lament rules too much i think version 2 fixed most of them it does seem a bit lackluster for a medium machine gun team i don't think it should be you know more shots I do think it should do D2 pins though, kind of like a somewhere quasi in between a, an artillery piece and uh, a machine. I think it should be one of those things that kind of bridge that gap. But you know, it's ne neither here nor there. You can take them at veteran, uh, and I I I learned the respect of a veteran uh, medium machine gun team at that last tournament when I charged it defending an obstacle and it uh, killed my squad. Uh, Oh, the so the a big thing we just talked got done talking about snipers. Obviously, a threat to the medium machine gun team is the sniper. Uh, it is an infantry-based fixed team. Uh, it's a team weapon. So if you would get snipered and they kill the medium machine gunner, the whole the team just abandons uh, the their dead comrade, and drags him back to the medevac base or something, and they leave the gun right where it was. Uh, that's not great in that you know if i bought that 50 point five man squad and they pick off a guy i still have four guys i don't even take an order check medium machine gun team it's gone uh so that you when you do buy a medium machine gun you're going to need to be cognizant of enemy sniper placement and you don't want to be messing around uh trying to trying to get the first shot and uh shoot that sniper if they if we set up a game here and then the, my opponent placed a sniper right there in the past, I've been like, well, I'll try to get a pin on him, and I'll shoot at that sniper. That's not a great call, because you're usually hitting on sixes or sevens, depending on where they put the sniper. And uh, when he gets a first order dice, he's gonna more like 50% chance to probably knock you out. Maybe it's less than, it's like 30 some percent chance. Hitting on a three, you know, that's uh, what, 66%. And then killing you on a four up, that's uh, so they have 33% chance that you're dead. He's going to likely put a pin on you and then eventually get you. Uh, run away from a sniper if you can and get in a position where he can't see you. It's, it's uh, Discretion is a better part of valor when it comes to snipers and small team weapons. So uh, there is an option in other in some army books uh, like uh, Belgian and uh, the United States. That you can take a heavy machine gun team now if you take a heavy machine gun team you're changing what your team purpose is for uh, a heavy machine gun is uh, plus one penetration it only has three shots so you're giving up your shots it has the same weaknesses as a machine gun team where you're going to have the susceptibility to snipers and only three wounds uh, one an, one note is if you do take a wound uh, and the way I think I interpret the rules is that you are an infantry based team 
you're not an artillery piece. If you get down to two people, you're now a small team. So remember that if you get fortunate enough to get a guy picked off and you don't lose the team from the, whatever shooting, as further shots against you are going to be at minus one because you're a small team. If you lose that second guy, you're still a small team and you're minus one to shooting because of the team rule. But getting back to heavy machine guns, heavy machine guns, uh, uh, you see those because they're a little bit better at shooting at uh, vehicles because uh, like trucks and whatnot because of the plus one penetration. They are a heavy weapon and when we get into uh, anti-tank, like anti-tank rifle and things like that and we talk about that, uh, you don't always have to kill what you're shooting at to be effective. You can put pins on things. Uh, regular vehicles take pins half the time from any heavy weapon hit because they have to make a check. Uh, inexperienced always take a pin. So even if you can't penetrate it. So the heavy machine gun's good for that. Uh, you can spray some pins on maybe armored cars. Uh, you can maybe damage them. You can knock out trucks and veteran infantry a little bit better. I generally, when it comes to heavy machine guns, I have those options on my vehicles. I usually stick with the medium machine gun. Uh, I like the extra shots. Uh, you know, I don't know what I don't know. I've never really thought about the math for three shots against a truck at plus one penetration or five shots on a truck with just trying to score that six. I don't know which one's better. It's probably each, each their own uh, prerogative on that. But uh, that's pretty much it for medium machine gun teams. Once you decide to put one into your list, uh, most player uh, like uh, most players when they play them. They, they find a nice piece of cover, uh, they deploy it in it or move it quickly to it, and then they their purpose is to lock down a piece of the board. Because as you've seen, I didn't do a lot of damage to that infantry squad, but when you're playing the Germans, you, you might be less inclined to just run right up the middle if there's a, a machine gun team uh, in ambush there. Uh, and you might decide to kind of try to work your way around and slow down your enemy a little bit. The 36 inch range is nice. That means I'm putting hits, I'm putting shots into my enemy's deployment zone where my rifle squads would be set up along here unless I had a light machine gun, which has a 30 inch range. Uh, or no, a bar has a 30 inch range. A light machine gun has a 36 inch range, like the medium machine gun. You're putting shots into your enemy's deployment zone, which is nice if you're playing a list offensive gives you a little bit of uh, kind of like an MMA fighting you're just trying to needle somebody to get them to uh, make a mistake you're trying to just give them some uh, distraction technique type of hits and a mean machine gun team is good for that you fire a few shots you spurn somebody to kind of move and then you kind of take advantage of that move and uh, try to exploit it so uh, like I said I'll, I'll uh, I'm playing I, I, I purchased it, I'm working on it, and I'm planning to start incorporating a medium machine gun team into my list. Uh, with the idea is that I'm going to try to use it to, uh, to kind of get things started, get the party started. Many of my lists are reactive. I like to make lists that react to the enemy. And uh, unfortunately, is if I'm not doing anything to make them do something, then there's nothing to react to and it turns into a stalemate and a lot of times I'm out uh, large weaponed and I end up uh, I end up being the one reacting so I'm trying to change up my list just a little bit to give me some range because I, I rarely take light machine guns in my squads and I used to I just haven't been doing that lately and without that extra range I'm the one that's having to make the first move and the first uh, the first uh, moves towards the enemy and they're able to react to me and that's not the way I want to be playing so alright well that's a bit about me and machine guns you guys uh, just like in that last video uh, put your your comments in there those are really great uh, there's a lot of bolt action players that are either new don't be afraid to ask questions uh, if you uh, are more experienced with these things and you have uh, ways you like to operate stuff Put that down there it's very helpful for new players and experienced players who just sometimes you get caught up in your local meta 
you go to the game store, nobody ever runs mini machine guns, or maybe everybody runs them. And you see things that, uh, from a different perspective, and it's great and helpful if you put them in there. So, all right, I'm going to get this loaded up, and I'm going to get to work on my anti-tank uh, one. It's a little more, hopefully, a little more informative, a little more in-depth. But I'll see you soon.